Yo, what up street gods, there Kim, or the thought. What do you really want out of life? So, let me just talk about this from a more empirical, empirical perspective. So, let us assume there's no heaven and hell. Let us assume that there's no afterlife. We're alive right now. This is all real, ain't no simulation or whatever. And one day you're gonna die. So at best, we could die at age 133, but the, no the, the notion of uploading your consciousness into the cloud, cloning yourself is, is a non-concept. The closest thing to cloning yourself is having children, which I think more people should be having kids. More intelligent people should be having kids. And so let's let's assume that this is the only life we got. There's no afterlife, whatever. So then the question comes down to, what do you want out of this life of ours? So for me, it's very simple. Creative productivity, to produce a lot, to make a lot of stuff, to do things which uh, interest you, to me is the best life. And to me, a life of constant experimentation, a life of uh, constant fun, a life of uh, contra constant uh, interests, seems to actually be the best life. And kind of like, I think the ultimate synthesis between artist, photographer, entrepreneur is the, the best life. And certainly, physiologically and health-wise, you want to feel good. And I actually think that the best way to physiologically feel well is, yeah, go out, get some sunshine, uh, feel the, the sun against your skin, walk around as much as you can. Uh, fresh air, air circulation seems to certainly be uh, hugely beneficial. Um, and for me, Having the ability and the opportunity to create new things is what brings me uh, the greatest joy. So I think a lot of people kind of get suckered thinking that, oh, you know, life is so much better when you just have all these hedonic pleasures, but that kind of gets old real quick. Right, so let, let's say you're a dude. Like, honestly, come on, there's only so much times you could blow your load before that kind of gets old. Even my friend uh, Carl told me it's like, you know, he's owned all the expensive uh, Ferraris in the world and luxury cars. It's like, it's kind of like, you know, if you blow your load five times a day, you're probably going to lose the, the vigor or the, the enjoyment factor of things. And, you know, it seems like, you know, everyone wants to get, you know, you know, there's only so many Lambos you could drive. There's only so many, um, sexy chicas that you could uh, coy this with before that also kind of gets old too. So yeah, if you think about life, maybe we gotta take it back to the ancient Greeks, right? Like, I think the ancient Greeks enjoy life more when we're creating, we're experimenting, we're kind of having fun. Um, kids were able to do more stuff with the Kids who are able to expand more, live more, play around more, not take life too seriously. I think we actually are the most victimized when we take life too seriously. And yeah, and I think life, the more carefree we can live, uh, the better.
So yeah, I think in, in life, uh, certain things which seem at least beneficial to me in terms of uh, maximizing my happiness or my, my mood or whatever, it's first, become self-employed. You know, as long as you work for somebody else, as long as you have a boss who gives you a paycheck, I don't think you could achieve maximal happiness in life, so... And the funny thing is that you be self-employed and whatever, you don't even actually need that much money. Like you could actually retire pretty soon. I feel like I retired when I was like 28, 29. And even now, I only pursue entrepreneurship, things that actually interest me. And I feel like that's the, the ultimate life, a life where you're constantly exploring, thinking, wondering, wandering, kind of uh, self-experimenting with yourself and constantly augmenting your body, augmenting your mind, gain the muscular gains and also gain the, the creative gains. So, what is we to do in today's brave new world? It does seem that uh, Warren Buffett's quote is quite interesting is, you know, when others are fearful, be very greedy, and while there's greedy, be very fearful. So now, actually, I think, in the world, everyone's very fearful. Maybe right now it's time to be greedy, for you to experiment more, be greedy in terms of just prioritize yourself. Use this chance to be more entrepreneurial, use this chance to explore more, experiment more, take life a little bit less seriously and see what you're made out of.